Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all been having a very happy and productive week and I'm really excited for today's video because it's something I haven't done in a really long time. It's a haul and I wanted to share with you some of my favourite life-changing books and inspiring items as well. So I haven't really done anything like this before. I didn't want to do another stationery haul. I wanted to show you guys some things that I have found to be really beneficial with my day-to-day -day life, my productivity and my general well-being and just positive mindset as well. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you want more hauls and if you want more videos like this then comment below and of course please thumbs up this video as well to show me some love and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe down below. Also there is actually one little giveaway at the end of this video so if you want to potentially win one of my favorite inspirational items that I show you guys today, then stay tuned to the end of the video to find out more about that. Okay, so on to some of my favorite things. The first two items I'm gonna share with you guys are books and I love them so much. I didn't think it was possible to love a book like I love these books. Besides my book, The High School Survival Guide. I love that book too, I worked very hard, but I really love these two books I'm gonna share with you because they've really changed the way that I go about my day-to-day -day work as well as just how I treat myself in general. So the first one I'm gonna share with you is Work Smarter, Live Better. Now this featured in my apartment tour, if you guys haven't watched that already from a previous video. So I'll leave that as a card up above if you wanna check it out. But I featured this in my little reading nook section of my apartment because I've been reading this most nights and I just finished it. I think it is fantastic. It's written by an effectiveness coach and something that he talks about, which made me realize that I've been doing something completely wrong for such a long time, was the negative impact of making to-do lists. Now that goes against so much that I ever knew, but what he was saying, it's written by Cyril Papillon, I think he's French. What he was saying is that when you make a to-do list and you display it on your desk, so first off, you should never display all your memos and to-dos or reminders on your desk. It breaks your train of thought and your focus and it makes you more stressed knowing that you've got so many things you still need to get to. So he says that making to-do lists does the same thing. It increases your level of stress because you know that you've got to work through so many more tasks and it actually draws your focus away from the task at hand. So what he suggests that we do is actually write down everything that we need to complete, like you would for a to-do list. However, anything that will take you around five or 10 minutes, put that onto one list and batch it in together so that you're going to complete all of those little tasks right away. You can either do it first thing in the morning or the second that you make your list and you just wanna get it out of the way so you can focus on all of the important things you need to get done. So typically I like to set aside the first 30 minutes of my day to get all those annoying things out of the way. Phone calls, making appointments with the dentist, checking emails, cleaning my desk, anything like that, just get it done. And then anything that takes more than that time, five or 10 minutes long, that needs to be scheduled into your diary right away so that it's not displayed on your desk and it is all scheduled there so you know that you've got time to complete everything and you don't have to be worrying about when am I gonna have enough time to complete this task? Do I have enough time? And you're gonna feel stressed because you don't know when you're gonna get it all done. The other thing he then says is if you have a diary, rather than relying purely on checking your diary all the time, to put reminders on your phone to know when to move on to the next task, or you can use something like Outlook or Google Calendars. So, fantastic book. I found that the second I put that into practice, the very next day, I actually finished all of my work and the work I had scheduled for the next day, and I'm not kidding you, I promise you this, by 4 p.m., I then went for a walk and then went to yoga and made dinner and that was it. So I actually finished two days worth of work in one day and had extra time to spare that afternoon. So it really has helped me to feel a lot less stressed about all of the work that I do because as you guys know, I don't just have YouTube, I've got my book, I've got my stationery line, I've got a whole lot of other projects I'm still working on as well. So being able to get more done in less time is just the best thing ever, I can't tell you. So this is a really good book. If you guys want to check it out, it's called Work Smarter, Live Better by Cyril Papillon. Now the next book I want to share with you, I love it so much. I get so excited. I really didn't think I would get so excited about reading. But when I find books that are more about self-development and that really impact my life for the better, 
I, I really can't put them down. So in true study with Jess style, I'm going to show you this book. Look at that annotation going on right there. Look at all the post-it notes. There are so many pages that are underlined. It's actually also like a workbook. So there are a bunch of different exercises in here. Before I get into the content of the book, first off, it's called The Life Plan. It's by Shana Kennedy. And this is another limited edition copy at Kiki K. So the cover is really just absolutely beautiful, but you can buy it outside of Kiki K as well if you don't have a Kiki K store nearby. It's written by an effectiveness and life coach, but it's all about not just being productive and organized, but really knowing what you want out of life, how to make a plan to get it, how to work smart, and also how to make sure you're looking after yourself so that you're not going to spread yourself too thin, you're not gonna burn out, because she actually experienced chronic fatigue when she was in her 20s. I don't know if you guys know what chronic fatigue is. My dad actually suffered from chronic fatigue and so did my auntie. And it's not something that you ever completely get over. It's that you feel incredibly drained and exhausted and your energy is just really diminished. So she actually couldn't work for three years and it made her really put a lot of big changes into place so that she could bounce back. So I'm always mindful that I don't want to burn out. I don't ever want to end up having chronic fatigue and not being able to do my job and, and live the life that I want. So I really found a lot of value in this book. And it even talks about things like a vision board. As you guys know, I made a vision board and I made a video about that recently too on my channel. Again, I'll link that in a card up there somewhere, which will be clickable. Um, but yeah, there are so many beautiful things and there are some fantastic exercises in here too. And I really want to find you one. Okay, so this one is a double page spread. It's called Your Hope Map, where you actually write down all of the things that you want to accomplish in life in different areas of your life, from your health to your relationships, your finances. So she actually gets you to write everything down and you've got it all documented so you can work towards that. There's even goal setting exercises in here. There's beautiful quotes and um, photography as well. I'm just gonna hold up a page there if you can see. And I just love it. I think it's such a beneficial book. And there was even a section at the very start of the book for writing down your definition of success, which I actually talked about in one of my recent question of the week videos as well. So if you guys are looking for a couple of books to read, check out these two and I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on them too. I only ever want to share things that I genuinely find a lot of value in and these two really are incredibly valuable and they've made a really big impact in my own personal life too. So I wanted to share them with you and yes, they are life-changing books. Okay, then because I went in to get those two books from Kiki K, I couldn't help myself but buy two little stationary items. So the first one is this well-being tracker. Again, it's not just stationary, it's also very functional as well. So it's got a section for writing down your weekly focus and your goals, as well as how you plan to exercise for the week and what you plan to make extra time for as well. And then there's a little section at the bottom that says, I am grateful for, so you get to write down your gratitudes. So if the camera will focus on that and not my face, you can just have a little look there. So that's the well-being tracker. And then I used to have a write it down notepad. I think it was called the 4am notepad. If you guys ever had it, then comment below. But this one says make time for what matters because they discontinued the old one and this is the new improved version. And it's just got really beautiful printed pages on every page. They all differ. They've all got different quotes as well. So I'm not going to be using this to make to-do lists anymore. Gone are the days of writing to-do lists but I am going to use it for writing down memos or little reminders or, I don't know, just jotting down ideas as well. Even if I just think of an idea for a video, then down it goes. Now the next two items are two very inspirational items. I went into a little homeware store very close to my apartment and I saw these and I thought they were really different, really cute and just beautiful. So they're actually tiny little matchboxes. They look like little matchboxes. So this one says a tiny message of inspiration and this one says a tiny message of gratitude and they've got a little message inside of course. And I actually bought this one for Adam. I hope he doesn't mind that I'm sharing this with you guys, but I bought this for him and he keeps it on his bedside table. I wanted to give him something that just constantly shows him that I'm grateful for him and that and I love him and I, I really appreciate him. So this one, if you slide it open, there's actually a little meditating Buddha inside and it says, thank you for all that you are. So if you can see that one there. And then this one that says a tiny message of inspiration. I keep this one on my desk and it says, 
believe in yourself because you gotta believe in yourself. It's very important, guys. All right, now the next item, well, this is actually also featured as a little giveaway on my Instagram account, so I'll get into that in a minute. But this one is a box of birds. This is actually from the same store that I bought the two little matchbox messages from. And I love it because it's 24 cards of inspirational quotes. So it says, a box of birds, 24 cards to inspire the soul. So on each card, there's a really lovely quote or positive affirmation. And I like to just switch them up every day and just change them on my desk. So the first one here that I've got on for today says, magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. And then another card I've got here, which was yesterday's card, was reflect upon your present blessings of which everyone has many. So that's actually written by Charles Dickens. And I'll show you that card there. So to me, this card is so beautiful because it's so important to focus on everything that we have in our lives and focus on what we're grateful for too. So because I love these quote cards so much, I actually bought another deck and these ones have a bunny on them. Oh, I haven't filmed with Honey for a really long time, I've realized. I really should put her in a video coming up. But this one is called Up the Garden Path and it says 24 cards to inspire the soul again. And I'll just show you. They've got very, very similar cards on the inside, but some of them have slightly different illustrations. And I love the first one. So this one says, happiness is to hold flowers in both hands. And that's a Japanese proverb. And you've just got the most adorable illustration there. So I wanted to give back to you guys. And I thought I haven't really done a giveaway on my Instagram account in a really long time, actually. So if you guys want to have a chance to win your own gorgeous little affirmation deck of cards, then all you have to do is head over to my Instagram account at study with Jess and I'll have the details there on one of the posts that features these cards and you can find out how you can be in the draw to win these. And yeah, I just wanted to really do something nice for you guys because I love you and I'm in a very good mood. I'm feeling very inspired. So just wanted to give back. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want more of these kind of hauls where I share with you just some different items that are not necessarily stationary, but just items that I'm loving, any books that I've found really valuable, any inspirational items that I'm finding to be very helpful for my days as well, then comment below. And of course, if you did enjoy today's video, then thumbs up to let me know and spread some love. And if you guys aren't subscribed already, then please do subscribe to my channel so you can join in on all the Desi Cat fun. And like I said, I'll leave some previous videos in the top corner over there as some cards that you can click on. And also, if you want to check out my study skills book, then that will also be linked in the description box too. I'll see you on Friday for my question of the week video. So don't forget to leave your study related questions down below too. Okay guys, have a very happy and productive week and I'll see you soon. Bye.